Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take an image and uh, kind of uh, turn that image into a text image so that, uh, for instance, in this, uh, in this particular image, the snail and all the detail of the snail will be completely com uh, comprised of text. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing that you have to do is you have to find a nice image. And it needs to have a white background. Um, certainly you can find an image, cut it out, and then place it on a white background. I found this image uh, um, on a free stock photography site that already had a white background, just for simplicity. And it, uh, it worked pretty well, so I'm going to go with it. <clears throat> uh, the first thing that we do is we take our image with our white background, and we're going to duplicate that layer. So you can press Control-J on your keyboard with that layer selected, and it should make a copy of that layer. We'll double click on the name and we're going to call it B and W for black and white. And then we press enter. Uh, we will click on the, the B and W layer. We'll go up to image adjustments and down to black and white. We're then going to set our settings to 40, yellows to 12, greens to 40, uh, cyans to 60, blues to 20, magentas to 80. Then we'll go ahead and press OK. If yours is anything like mine, you're only going to have to adjust the yellows. OK. The uh, next thing that we need to do is insert some filler text. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go to lipsum.com, which is just lorem epsum uh, text. It's some kind of Greek sounding uh, Latin, excuse me, text. And uh, I already have it pulled up here, so it's uh, lorem ipsum, lipsum.com, L-I-P-S-U-M. And uh, you can generate however much text you want. I just generated a few paragraphs, and I'm going to just uh, copy, Control-C, and I'll go back to my Photoshop, and I'm going to select my text tool, and I'm going to cover this whole area with my horizontal text. And I'll press Control-V to fill it in. And uh, it accident I accidentally had my foreground color set to this brownish. I want this to go ahead and be black for now. So I'm going to press Control Z to go back one. And I'm going to set my control uh, my foreground color to black and the background color to white. And I'll press Control V once again to uh, fill it with uh, a black text. I'm going to get rid of these paragraphs as I do not want paragraphs. because any break that you show in there will not pick up the detail in the image. Okay, then uh, I will select all the text. We want to make sure that it's left aligned, and you can format it however you want. However, uh, the smaller the text you make, the more detail is going to show up in the picture. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make mine a little smaller, and I'll go ahead and just uh, paste a little bit more to cover the whole area with some smaller text. Okay, and that's fine. Okay. Uh, now what we'll do is we're going to take our text layer and we're going to duplicate it three uh, times. So I'll just press Control J three times, or you could just drag it down into this uh, new layer area, and that would also um, do the same thing. We're going to then name the, rename these layers. Um, highlights, uh, midtones, and shadows. And then uh, we're going to uh, set the colors of these layers. So what we'll do is we'll uh, just double click on the shadows layer, and we're going to uh, do a, go to color overlay. And we're going to just set the color overlay, uh, the web color, uh, the hex color, on, uh, this is our shadows layer. We're going to set that to uh, black, so we're going to go uh, six zeros, just to set it to black. We'll press OK, and you can hide that effect if you want. We'll go to midtones and do the same thing. Uh, color overlay, set the hex color to B7. B7, B7, and that's a nice uh, mid-gray. Press OK. Go ahead and hide those effects with our little arrow over here to the right. 
and we'll double click on highlights and we're going to set the uh, color overlay on that one to white so six f's one two three four five six f's we'll press ok ok and we'll go ahead and hide those effects as well now the next thing that we want to do is select uh, those three the highlights midtones and shadows layers that we just made and we're going to go up to layer go down to rasterize and rasterize the type and then uh, from there we select our black and white layer we go up to select down to color range and what we want to do is we want to uh, select grayscale down at our selection preview down at the bottom here and then up at the top with our sampled colors we want to select um, shadows and we will press OK and that'll highlight all of our shadows oh excuse me let me, uh, let me take a step backwards here press Control z we want to um, make all of our text layers invisible for now I'm not sure if this is going to make a big difference, but uh, yeah, it, it will because it had selected some of the text. So make sure that all these text layers are invisible for this step. So now we select this B and W layer. We go up to select, down to color range, and uh, we have grayscale set down at the bottom. And for our sampled colors, we're going to select shadows, and we'll select OK. And then it'll, it should just select those shadow areas. And what we'll do is we'll select our shadows uh, text layer that we had rasterized. And we're going to clip, uh, create a new clipping uh, layer mask on that by uh, clicking this button on our uh, on our layers. <clears throat> and then we're going to do the same thing for midtones and highlights. However, uh, and I'll just show you with midtones, we go up to select, down to color range, and instead of uh, at the top here going to shadows, we'll go to midtones. And we'll press OK, make our uh, clipping mask. And then for highlights, we go to select, color range, up at the top, we select highlights, and press OK, and then also add a layer mask there. Uh, OK, so now that we've done all that, <coughs> we can... Excuse me, I just... Uh, Take a quick look at my notes. Uh, what we'll do is we'll add a new layer. So we'll select our uh, BNW layer and we will click on the Add New Layer button. We're going to double click our foreground color and we're going to change that foreground color to 6E60 48. Then we'll select OK. And we're going to go ahead and fill this new layer. We'll go up to Edit, down to Fill and press OK. Uh, at this point, <coughs> we uh, are fairly uh, concluded with our uh, with our our, uh, our tutorial. All we have to do is click on our different layers and watch uh, and see what the text looks like as we have it reappear. As you can see, our snail shows up right here. We have our uh, highlights out here as the white area, the midtones being the mid-tone areas in the snail and the shadows being the darker areas in the snail. And uh, This certainly can work better with uh, other images um, but you can certainly tell that this is a snail. You can change the color on this layer if you would like. Um, let me just show you like what it would look like if it were red. Something like that. But uh, this is pretty much the final project or product, excuse me. And it really picks up the detail pretty well. If I just zoom in, look at uh, all that detail that it picked up in there. Pretty cool. So uh, I hope you learned a lot with this tutorial and uh, have fun using it on your different images. Uh, please subscribe to my blog, subscribe to uh, me on uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook and Twitter. And thanks for watching.